Let's go. Welcome to the 38th episode of Dan Geesing Plays Minecraft. Where we last left off, we had just finished uh, building the mine of random ran ramblings. And I can I can go with that name. And uh, this what this video marks the beginning of the building of the manor. So we're gonna head right back home, and uh, we're going to start working on the manor because we have not touched our home since episode two. I feel like we have plenty of materials going. We've got everything we need, except. We're so far away. That's cool, though. Um, that means we did work on this tunnel. On that mine of random ramblings. Let's eat here, though. I would just want to... How much is that worth? Wow, that's worth a lot. I like that. All right, so let's uh, let's just make our way back carefully. We don't need any casual encounters with any enemies because... Oh. Dang. We came out right there, right? So where's the stairs at? Our stairs are way up there. Oh, God. Whoa! So much for that <laughs> casual encounter. Oh, my gosh. That was almost devastating. Thank you to our random pieces of armor that we barely have on. That's saved us a world of strife. Oh, my gosh. All I, started, all I heard was the, the sizzle, and I'm glad we survived that. So let's uh, let's get up here. And as we head up here... First thing we're going to do is we're going to get organized because you got to be organized in this. When we're, when we're planning this type of an epic build, we got to be organized. So let's just put all of our stone in here. And we're going to have to get some burn stuff going. So let's get a stack going here. Pick this up. Get a stack going there. And I'm actually going to do this because you guys told me to. So that should be permanent. So, let's do this. Get another stack going. Good, we got enough to get... We should, We have a ton here. We have a, lots of high society going here. And I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. It means we've got some action. So, let's get all of our stone in here. Let's put all of our interesting things in here. The, uh, the protectables. And then let's put everything else in here. Actually, let's take this. Oh, we can stack those. Nice. All right, so let's get this dirt in here. I just want to get everything perfectly cleaned up. Let's throw these random tools in here. I don't want to have anything on us besides maybe a little food. Even these buckets can eat it here. We don't need this either. Flint can go in there. We will keep a little coal. Let's get all of our coal in one section. Okay, so let's just do a little prospecting here. So we have plenty of stone. I do want to see... You guys did say that... We can make stone bricks. And it should be just almost exactly the same. Perfect. I like that. We're definitely going to be building our, the, the manor out of stone bricks. But, um... So let me... Let's, let's work all these down to some stone bricks. There we go. And this is... This is the beginning right here, sirs. This is the beginning... Actually, why don't we just do this? Stack them like that. How's that for some ingenuity? There we go. We're learning here. We're learning. Okay. Good. That should be plenty of stone brick to start. Maybe that might be a little too much, but hey, at least we got it. So, ideally, what we'd like to do here is build without harming any existing structure, but I can't deal with uh, that chicken noise. So, I'm just trying to think how we can... I'm just going to place the addition here. So, uh, maybe, uh, I mean, really just planning the markers out. So, kind of what I... I don't know really what I have in mind, but um, maybe we should start here and maybe turn this into some sort of a shed. Or some sort of storage facility. So let's, uh, I'm not sure I want to connect these two yet. So let's just say, give ourselves two, two with here, two away from here. So I want to be two away just so we have plenty of room. Perfect. 
Okay. I don't know. This may have to see the light of day. I don't know if that's gonna see the light of day or not. But let's um let's get some manor action going. So we want to be two in on each side. So two, two. Perfect. Okay. And then let's uh my mouse is my mouse is randomly moving. So just kind of setting the not the trend here, but just seeing if this is gonna be big enough if we're or if we're gonna have to demolish the ye old initial chicken hut that we came up with perfect this looks like it's going to be kind of small so i think that we may have to just i just don't want to get too close to this because i i can't deal with that noise that noise is gonna gonna eat it so i think we're actually gonna just i, I want to keep some of this intact though i i just don't know how it's gonna make sense though so let's uh start laying the foundation here the wall and then maybe we'll it'll come to us because I'm big on preserving history or preserving what was naturally there and in this case we started off with that and, I, and I'd like to at least keep a portion of it in its rightful ownership and that's not I'm not using the right words but just keeping a portion of it together so that we can remember the good days when we we didn't have maybe such a glorious manner that we're working on right here and I don't know that it is going to be glorious, but I'm hopeful. Because um, it's already look. I mean, this is the first time I've used these type of blocks in the game. And um, it's just, I'm really enjoying the way it looks here. It's strong to quite strong. So this is definitely going to be multiple floor, but I'm just trying to get an idea of how much we should expand. Because... Whoa! Look at that troll. Um... Let's, uh, jeez, it's just, it's a tough decision here. Do we expand, or maybe, what if we built, I want some of it. What if we, let's see what we could salvage from this. Why is this, it doesn't seem like it's that long, but it is, huh? Interesting, what could we, we could use this as a storage facility, but we're going to store things in here, so I, I really don't think there's another way to do this without taking this bad boy out but here's what we're going to do we're going to make this not one huge square box we're going to cut in here i want to see how wide we are we got one two one two no sir oh, i thought that was a creeper one two three this um, this counting is not good at counting because those blocks are kind of weird. here we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten eleven twelve 30, 40, 50. I don't know. I, don't, I have no... I just want to make this look symmetrical. So I want to make this... Let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in. Let's see if we can go 5 in on this side and see how that looks. This may be the cutoff point. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in. So that's that, right? Is that even? So I want to see if this is even, Steven. So everything's got to be symmetrical here. Is that symmetrical? No. Let's find out. This is the, the pains of building. One, two, three, four, five. That's the six in. I think we got to slide over one more here. One, two, three, four, five. This would be at six in. So we don't have the proper tool to knock that out. Let's, uh, let's use these bad boys up while we can here. So take this one out, sir. Take this one out. And let's go to sleep because I don't want to deal with those monsters. I got to think, how can we save this room? Maybe there is no way to save it. Is that the, is that the decision we have to make here in the Chicken Utopia? Is that we have to destroy our original building? What if we just shortened it up? So what if we cut it in half? Hmm. See, then that wouldn't work because that's our mine entrance. And we can't really expand out this way because that looks into nothing. Decisions, decisions. I think we're going to have to raise it. Just destroy the entire building. Actually, what if we just came out this far? This is what we could do. Just see what would happen. If we were to destroy just this back side of it. Man, we need to get some tools here. We're not properly tooled up. 
Um, where'd those sticks go, sir? Oh, cool. We don't need sticks. Just take those. I just want to see what we'd be cutting into if we just were to make the manor entrance, like, right here. Oh, sorry. This that pa that's painful. It it hurts that those blocks have been there for thirty episodes. That's okay though. It's a sign of progress. So if we were to come across here, we would still need an entrance. So here's what we're gonna do. Just for just for nostalgia, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna close off. See, that's not gonna work. This unless this is the back side of the manor, because. This is going to have to be the back, and that's fine. So let's let's take the back all the way through here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make this. The back side of the manor will have the downstairs, so let's do this. This is We need to come. This is where the cutoff point is. So literally, it's going to be... <laughs> It'll be like a little chicken outhouse. That's how much is going to be left of it. That's fine. We can deal with that. So that's going to be that plan. But this is just just so much going on right now. Maybe we should... Um, I'm just... This is overwhelming, but in such a good way. So we're kind of... Let's just lay the foundation. We'll, we'll set it at that. So this will be... This is actually going to come back a little deeper here. So let's... So to all you original chicken utopian lovers right here, we're going to preserve what's meant to be preserved. So this is going to be where the foundation goes. So we're going to actually probably, we'll have to go a little wider here, huh? Where is that entrance at? See, if the entrance is this wide... Wow, we have totally just. Here's what we can. No, we can't do that. This I just want this to be like a little back way. So decisions, decisions. So literally, this is gonna have to be the the last line. There goes all of our stuff too. Not thinking clearly here. Let's um. Let's just full on panic mode. Let's just put this chest down here. Full on panic. This is what you get. I'm I'm normally just not used to building anything, but I guess that's gonna have to change here. Let's just move this here temporarily for now. Come on, sir. Oh man, there's all our valuables. This is just uh, this is brain overload. I I I don't have words for what's going on right now because I feel like it's just uh. It's craziness, but let's put everything in here besides. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Okay, let's get the rest of this stuff. At least get the chest. All of our valuables. So much value. It's okay. Oh, man, I, I feel so scattered. Look at our, our, life, our livelihood. Okay, let's put this bad boy here. First chest of moving. Let's just put everything in here that we know we're not going to use. It's easy, 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 easy. Okay, let's get our bricks back. There's going to be some serious reorganization here. Don't don't worry, guys. I promise. All right, I just want to lay the foundation here. So this is going to be the cutoff point. So let's extend this deal. The vision is there. The vision is there, I promise. Actually, I don't promise. I can't promise the vision is there. It's just hopeful. But I do want to keep that can they can you go downstairs like that where's our shovel oh man this is like we should just take a bird's eye view of this this looks like a lego experiment gone horribly wrong i i can just sense the terror and the horror oh god i gotta get to you dig this out here sir all right, there's a lot of work to be done, so we're going to continue the foundation in the next episode of Dan Geesing Plays Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know right now it looks like it's in shambles, but I hope you guys can see that the manor is starting to form. 
and look at that scary thing. All right, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, you can let me know by hitting the like button, and it's a way to support the video and, and show me that you guys are enjoying it besides watching it. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Later.